guys, welcome to this week's Warlord Wednesday. Can't believe we're at episode 48 already. Big news coming from Warlord this week is the pre-order of the new game Cruel Seas. This looks interesting. There is lots of expansions already in the pipeline for it. There's fleets for British, American, Russian, Japanese. So they've gone whole hog with this game. I've not seen no demos or anything for it as yet. Like, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like and how it plays. So this week I'm going to show you how I've painted my 15mm French Dragoons. Let's go to the table now and I'll show you what I've been doing with them. So I did a bit of research on dragoons and it's from different sources so the headdress um, the helmet was made of brass with a long horsehair mane and each regiment had the lead company and uh, pioneer sections so the coat was middle to dark green and each regiment had its own distinctive face and collar which was displayed on the lapel turn backs cuffs and collars so the face and collars are but the first of the six company was scarlet, then crimson, pink, yellow, orange. Also, if you note, note that the second, fifth, eighth, a certain number of uh, companies had green collars. So I'm going to do the green collars. So I'm going to do the second company. So it'll have red cuffs, red turn backs, but green collars because it's easier to paint them green. Also, of note that the trumpeter uh, in general wore the reverse colour of the regiment. So, the trumpeter of the 2nd Dragoon Regiment would wear a red coat with green cuffs and turnbacks. So let's have a quick look at how I've painted my 2nd Regiment French Dragoons. Okay guys, so I'm in the middle of painting my 15mm uh, Dragoons and this row of paints at the back is all the paints I've used. Let's get some up to this stage so far. These are nearly done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in close and I'll go through the colours one by one. Okay, so I started off, I super glued the miniatures to these tongue presses and I sprayed the whole lot white. Then what I did was, with the horse, I painted the body with light brown and I painted the tail and the mane with pale brown. Next after that, I painted the trousers with a sand yellow. I then painted the saddle or the back end of the saddle and the jacket with this um, German cam bright green and after that I painted the hands and the face with L flesh next up I painted the rifle with mahogany brown and then I painted the sword with silver then I painted the hilt of the sword and the helmet with retributor armor but any gold will do so next up I painted the cuffs and the turn backs it would red. Also at, the, at this point I'll show you my musician because the musician normally wear ride a grey horse and the jacket is the reverse colour of the normal infantry so this is red with green whereas the normal colours for the dragoons 
are a green jacket with red trim so after that was done I then used chaos black I painted all of the black parts which is quite a lot you've got the boots this side and the I say main the hill horse here that's on the their head and then on the other side you got again the boots and the uh, scabbard for the sword and after that I revisited with the silver just to paint the stirrups there's just a little bit there but I had to wait till I did the black before I could put that bit on and then again I did a revisit again with the, the gold and just painted the tips of the sword scabbard that so that's where I'm up to with them all I need to do now is just go over and any bits where I'm not happy with or just a little bit of touching up need to do I'll do that and then give them a coat of sepia wash and when the sepia wash is dry these are ones I've already put on the base what I'll do then is the, the white strap of the ammo pouch paint that white you see the white when I put the sepia wash on the white on the saddle has gone really like a, a, an off white colour obviously so doing it this way I get a, a more it's more white than the sepia and again white detailing on the the, the, the saddle as well that's it around the other side again see there's white detailing so that's it they've got so they've been washed and I'll show you what I'm going to do for basing next time Okay guys, so that's it for this week's Warlord Wednesday. Uh, come back next week and I'll show you my Dragoons finished off and I'll show you how I'm going to base them. Uh, I'm going to base them to match the rest of my army obviously but I'll go through and show you the way I'm going to do it. Uh, so next week, stay safe. <laughs>